All right. For our tip of the week this week, let's go into talking a little bit about adding some additional details to those foundations that we just created. So if we are going to be talking about um, adding rebar into our, our foundation, um, we would have to cut out from that fill because again, these complex profiles only recognize a fill. So if we wanted to add a spot for our rebar to go through the footing here, then we would need to cut out some of that, that fill. So to do that, I would first use my circle tool um, and draw a line circle um, at the size of the rebar, okay? And then using the magic wand function, I would select my fill and on the pet palette, you would be able to uh, subtract from the fill. And then I would use my magic wand tool to subtract. And what that would end up looking like here is we would have our fill with that circle cut out in it. And how that relates over to our, um, our foundation is it's going to give us these holes for the rebar that stretch linearly throughout our entire profile there. Okay, we can also add um, details by controlling how far our fills extrude. So if we wanna be able to be showing each um, individual CMU block here, we would model the grout right there. And that would give us that additional detail as well. Okay, so now let's talk about if we want to add some uh, graphical details to our framing. Um, you could easily put an X in there um, just for your reference, but that's not gonna show up when we look at this in section. So if you were building a wall detail and you didn't have this built into your composite, excuse me, um, then you would have to add this into your detail each time. But we can also build this directly into, or this graphic into the composite by using the similar system that we did for the hole, um, drawing lines for where our X would be, and then using the magic wand tool to separate those, uh, those items out. And what that would end up looking like in our section, uh, you would, be able to see that X, and then you would also be able to see that if you were looking at it in 3D. You can um, individually model elements and bring in manufactured objects as well to show those tie downs and those holdings that you need. <clears throat> there are a couple different uh, websites that can be used to get these model elements and manufactured objects. Strong Tie does um, provide with a couple different uh, 3D BIM models that you can download and then import into your project to use. Um, if we're looking for Revit add-ons to ARCHICAD, BIM 6X has a couple great um, extensions to use that are free from their website, and that is at bim6x.com. Um, and they have a RFA and RVT geometry exchange for both Mac and for Windows. Okay, and to bring any of those objects in, we would go to our file, go to library and objects, and import an RFA as a GDL object. <clears throat> 